and the chair of the Democratic National Committee also reacting to the announcement from the president. This all comes just a month before the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. I am uh, emotional about the president's decision because this president, Joe Biden, has been a transformational president. He's been a great leader. He's a good man, a decent man who has done so much for this nation. The Democratic National Convention is set for August 19th through the 22nd. And Kansas Governor Laura Kelly reacting to Biden's announcement, saying in part, quote, for more than five decades, President Biden has made it his life's work to better our country for hardworking Americans. Above all, he has been firm in his desire to safeguard democracy, end quote. And the lone Kansas Democrat in Congress, Representative Sharice Davids, saying in part, quote, by stepping aside from the presidential race today, he has once again put the future of our country first. Senator Roger Marshall echoing the comments coming from the House Speaker Mike Johnson, saying if Joe Biden is unable to serve another term, then he must resign right now. If he's unfit to campaign, he should not have the nuclear coats. It's that simple, end quote. The House White House has confirmed that Biden has no intention of stepping down from the presidency. Representative Ron Estes also calling on the president to resign. He also said, quote, there's no question about it. The Democrats nominee will continue pushing the same extreme out of touch policies that were championed by Joe Biden. Representative Tracy Mann said in part, quote, I am confident that the November elections will give Republicans success up and down the ballot, no matter the Democratic nominee, adding that he is committed to getting the country back on track.